Hi everyone, this is Rick Morgan, your friendly comic book scientist. I wanted to explore, I did a similar experiment previously, but I want to say what, how much UV light does a CGC case, or like half of a CGC case absorb. And um, and we'll, we'll take a look at that. Like, is it is it protective? Like, can you leave them mounted on the wall, uh, exposed to natural light, uh, and expect there to be no damage to your book, your inks? Um, uh, so we'll find out. We'll do a little experiment and we'll see how much it drops uh, or how much the UV intensity drops. So the experiment will be that we're going to have a UV light, we're going to have a UV sensor. And we'll stick a board between it and see how much it drops off. So um, hang on and we'll check it out. Okay, what you see here is I have a UV sensor. Uh, this is UV A and B sensor and I have uh, UV light and I have a piece of um, comic book. Uh, this is a CGC cover, uh, so we'll see if it makes a difference or not. And I'm, you'll see on my screen, I'm going to record. We're at, I'm going to start recording so we can get a background signal. And you'll see in a moment that we have an intensity of around 21 milliwatts per meter squared. It's our background, and then I'm going to turn on the lamp here, and we're going to have a much higher value probably. So the battery's a little older, so it's about, let's see, we're looking at 13,000 from 20 to 13,700 about, right? So we'll let that go for a couple seconds. And you'll see, um, you'll see what that looks like shortly. And now we're gonna put this comic book cover in between and we'll see if it drops at all, okay? So let's get it, let's get it, let it establish a baseline here. All right, so it was first initially high Settling in around 12,000. All right, 12,000 is our number, 12,200. So let's put this in between and see, does the UV light drop, intensity drop? All right, that's sitting there on the light. Let's see what happens. So that drops to about 10,600, so not a lot has dropped a little bit. A little, it helps a little, it does help a little. Let's see, just for giggles here, if we were to put um, you know, one of our cold pressing boards in between there, let's see if that does anything. much not much at all but you know what would be really interesting and we'll try this out right now as we will see if we were to put a little bit of sunscreen we are going to take some of this and we will put a regular comic book bag and we'll put some sunscreen on it here we'll make a big circle of sunscreen now it's kind of white so we don't that's not really fair We'll kind of smear it out so that it's not blocking the light entirely. And let's see, let's see if what that, what that does. Okay, let's check it out. And see. So yeah, apparently, if you were to put some sunscreen on your <laughs> the outside of your CGC, that would make a huge difference. So um, I'm gonna kind of rub this in so you can't really see it's an even thin film. And we'll see what happens here. This is a. Uh, yeah, that's really a lot lower, but not zero. So there you have it, folks. The, um, the CGC cases make a little difference, but, but not a big difference. And that's that.